Hello. Hey, I'm ready to hit. So how do you use ChatGPT? Are you connecting it to some of your APIs? Do you have a separate process? I'm not an expert. I'm just like desperately need to improve my effect, my efficiency and PM productivity. That's that's why I've been using ChatGPT. And then this is the function that you need to enable. Enable work with apps, which is very simple. It's actually with, if you're watching this, chances are you wanted to understand how to use ChatGPT. Today I was talking to my friend. He's a software engineer. From the time I know him, he's like the one who understands software more. But I'm very surprised when he asked, so how do you use ChatGPT? Are you connecting it to some of your APIs? Do you have a separate process to automate your daily workflow? I have none of those. The only thing I did is I upgraded my MacBook system. If you download the laptop version, it actually allows you to manage apps on ChatGPT. So today I'm just gonna walk you through of how I I actually use this. Hopefully that can inspire some of the other way use case that you can use it. Today I'm just gonna walk you through some of the settings that I actually am first time to see it. This is the web version of the ChatGPT, and then I have my journal here. Normally in the web version, it doesn't really allows you to connect any of the apps. And I also feel like that is really only works for the latest Apple system. I'm using Mac OS Sequoia version 15.4.1. But I think it doesn't matter what kind of MacBook that you're using, you're equipped with the latest version as long as you upgrade it. It doesn't really work on this web version. What we're gonna do is we will open a laptop version. They have this kind of like chatbot interface. It allows you to just ask a question. I'm going to show how I can manage apps from ChatGPT. Can you help me? And we'll just wait. <laughs> so it actually gives me more <laughs> options. One is use ChatGPT with built-in tools. I think most of the people have tried DALI. Using plugins or GPTs like Zapier, Instacart, Tally integration, I haven't tried it yet. Once I've tried it, I will come back and show another one. <laughs> But the main thing I want to try is the ChatGPT is generate codes and scripts for external apps here. The one that I've been using, which is very simple, is actually with Notion. So you don't need extra tab, it's just here. There's this little thing that you just click and you can do work with Notion. And all you need to do is to add to it as access to my journal here. I want to show people how to use it together. For example, based on what you see here on Notion, can you help me start a template for my weekly to-do list? I noticed that I'm just use the base, basic model. I have a $20 plan. I don't even have a pro plan, but that's what ChatGPT can do. And let's see what it can help us with. Because it reads everything on my journal, right? And then it says that here's some clean, and flexible starter templates that include sections in priority tasks, habits, and reflection, of which can update it through natural language prompts like add follow-up with Nicole about video edits to my weekly to-do list, something like that. So here, it creates this template because this is like a message kind of interface. Let's just go back to the main window. I think it has improved my template. I will start a new template. I Based. I also, by the way, have shared this, my template for productivity list here. This is my content journal, and then I have a weekly to-do list template that I have shared. If you go to the link down below, you can download it, uh, my productivity system, and then you can create your own productivity list the way that I do. It just creates a Notion-ready weekly to-do list template. It has the top three priorities, key tasks. For example, I have a video to be uploaded every week, and I have an upcoming guest, Derek Sivis, who's going to be my on my Escape 9 to 5 podcast, so then it knows about this. It knows about my habits and routines. For example, I usually go to my coffee shop to do my work in the morning, and then we have some detox 
goal, life goals, which is I wanted to be not looking at any of the screen after 11 p.m. And he also knows about this. And I have reminders. Uh, how about check luggage storage uh, near Canary Wharf by Thursday? Because I'm trying to figure out some of my storage situation. And then you also have end of week reflections. This is really, really helpful because I feel like sometimes we just need to talk through or journal of some things. Usually if you don't have an outlet of all of your thoughts, you're just accumulating more and more thoughts in your head. I think that's actually one of the biggest use cases I've been using ChatGPT for is, is the life coach function. I, that's extremely helpful for somebody like me who's like a recovering overthinker. Once this is in Notion, you can ask ChatGPT to update. I don't think you actually have this. So this is just like a hallucination. As of now, I haven't figured out this use case yet. So then now I have this, I'm just gonna copy paste everything on my weekly to do. And this is, by the way, my template of my weekly to do list. Like what, what do you need every week? Things like this. Let's say if we remove this and then we start a new page, I'll copy paste everything over. By the way, you can start your own template. It depends on what do you want here. And then task habits. Can you improve it so that it's more customizable for people who's using Notion and ChatGPT this way? Maybe add some prompt. So now because it's already connected to my week of today, which is the page that's already open on the other side. So it can automatically look into it and then I would just like prompt it so then you know how you can basically use it. It works on any of the pages. Just use it as a natural language as if you're talking to someone, asking for advice and some tips from someone. It's like, absolutely, this is an improved version of your week to-do list template. Designed specifically for people who manage their week. And then it just created some prompt. I think the prompts are very, very helpful because especially when people are not using it this way, they might not get into the habit of how to do it. My own Notion template, which I have shared, it gives you some mindful prompt, like what is the one task you finish and you feel happy about today? What is the one grounded habit that you have done today? What did you do anything to move your body? All of those things, I think intentionally designed as if ChatGPT is a life coach. And that I really am appreciative of. So here it gives us some prompts, for example, break down your week into actionable steps and then habit, anchor your week with supportive habits. All of these just really, really helpful. So that's the just a real quick demo of how you can actually connect your ChatGPT with Notion that I usually put them side by side. It doesn't have to be side by side, but you need to put them in one screen. So once you have the, the other screen open, this one can be added here to your, the page that is currently open. And then you can also choose whatever model that you are using. Speaking of the settings, I do want to mention the settings though. Let's look at the settings. I know about the settings, but I wasn't looking at it very carefully of the settings. For example, currently using ChatGPT Plus and the personalization, notification, all of these are very basic, right? Um, but then for the app here, I just turn on correct spelling automatically. You can turn it off, but I think it's good to have it on. And then you can also say open ChatGPT links on desktop app. This is automatically set by default. These are all very basic, but then the chat bar is the one that we show it here. So the chat bar is like, oh, whether you want it to be, you can position right, then it will go to here. You can position it to be left, then it will be here. It's just a easier option. Once you have selected that, it can also prompt it whenever you want it to be used. And you have a shortcut. I believe the shortcut is space and then it will be prompted up. And then this is the function that you need to enable. Enable work with apps. Once you enable work with apps, it can actually allow ChatGPT to work with code and text editors because I'm not coding anything. So the, the thing that I'm actually only using is uh, Notion, the way that I just show you. You can also select how many minutes you don't, you don't want it to be controlled forever or something like that. Toggle play, pairing, I think, I guess this is for like if you connect it with a lot of apps, that's how you toggle it. And then you can manage the apps that it's connected. You have notes, Notion, script editor, terminal, text edit. I'm just using Notion, very basic. But I think for most of the people, the basic ones are useful. And then I didn't notice that they actually automatically pair with apps from chat bar. So it saves a lot of your time. 
just the design from Apple. They make the design come to you, so you don't need to understand. It's a human-centric design, and generate suggested edits. I don't know what it's used for. I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> I'll come back with an update. But I think it's just like, oh, do you want me to do the, this and that, and then automatic yeah. apply suggested edits. Not sure what it is. But here you have all of these language. You can se select a voice. Confident and optimistic. That's my voice. It's Amber. Hello. Hey. I'm Anyways, so this is just a quick demo. How do I use ChatGPT into my day-to-day -day life when it, you can actually connect it together with your Notion page? I do want to share this because I feel like everyone is using ChatGPT in a different way. I'm not an expert. I'm just like a normal person who desperately need to improve my efficiency and productivity. That's why I've been using ChatGPT in whatever way that it can help me to get through my day, to, to have a better workflow and to have a calm mind. And that's how I use ChatGPT for. It's like I have somebody in my pocket who's like a therapist, who's an expert of all the internet search, who is somebody I can bounce idea with. Of course, you also need to take it as a pinch of salt because they sometimes make mistakes. I feel like this video, I hope it can be helpful for you. Just a simple setup, how you can uh, connect, manage the app together with Notion. And I'll see you in the next video.